everybody, it's Bill from AtTracker.com and welcome to this episode of Behind the Mask. Now you might notice that I'm in a different location for this one here. I'm trying to be socially distant, but Scott and T-Bob keep finding ways to get near me and get try to get me sick essentially. Um, never really helpful, always in the way. Hopefully one day they won't be. Um, but yeah, until then, I wanted to I wanted to test out the firepower of Outlaw on some random objects to uh, kind of aim for here and uh, see what we get. So see if you can guess which ones I'm actually going to be able to knock down. See which ones will actually stand, because it's going to be it's going to be something where you're going to have to have a little fun with it. Because well, what else are we going to do at the moment? So hopefully Scott and T-Bob stay away and um, uh, yeah, we'll get to it. So I'm gonna get set up down, down there. Okay. And this is why, this is why it's gonna go until like July uh, because of people like Scott who keep trying to go to the beach or um, anywhere near me. So, uh, but yeah, let's, let's get it set up down here. So there'll be a brief pause and then we'll be back with the destruction. All right. So we got Outlaw down here, ready to go. Flip this up here. We got the drivers intact. We got Miles and Nash in there, right? You know, ready to take down the, uh, the army that's coming after him. And, uh, you guys curious about what the army is? Well, there you go. There it is. If I can knock down that Voltron, I'd be pretty impressed. But we're using the, can the cannon here. I'm going to fire it in slow motion. And uh, take a guess right now on which ones I'll actually be able to knock down. I haven't tried it yet, but I can tell you which one I'm definitely aiming for first. You can guess it if you want to, but I'm actually, you'll be able to figure it out pretty quick. And I know that's not an accurate Luke with the Tauntaun. Um, I'm a mass collector. Sue me. <laughs> if you want to send me one, a hot version of Luke, uh, feel free. I would love it. Be able to put him in the back. All right, got this kind of lined up here. Sitting inside of. All right, so we got the cannon lined up. I want to get it to face up a little bit higher so I can make sure I get everything in that we need. Okay. There's the cannon. My aim first will be for billboard blast. Let's see what happens. Nudged it. All right. A little bit. Fire again. Over two. I did move up a little bit just to try to make sure I'm in the way here. So let's go for T Bob and Scott. Huh. Okay. Move up a little bit. Oh man, this is not easy. Um, hmm. Let's try something else. All right, we're reset. And what I ended up doing too is I put a pillow behind the Voltron because it's, if that falls, it'll be pretty messy. So let's reposition the camera here. All right. Get it up here so it's a little bit of a better view. There we go. 
slide you over. Let's get you ready to fire. Oh, at least got movement. That was nice. Hmm. It's going to be a little harder than I thought. Got one. Eat that, you stupid tauntaun. Yeah, it's gone to you, Bobber Dead. Oh, it's the greatest day of my life. I still got to get one more, though. One more. Piece of crap that I don't hold grudges against. Not at all. Smile, you son of a bitch. such a good feeling. If you're locked inside on the quarantine and you need something to do, get out Outlaw and shoot a billboard blast. It's literally the best thing I've done in about three, three weeks. <laughs> uh, and I don't think I'll be able to knock down Voltron or Pit Stop Catapult just because of the way it's positioned. Uh, it's too wide. But yeah, good job Outlaw. Good job Miles and Nash. Look at that destruction and chaos right there. Ah, it's great. See, there's the pillow that would have been there from the fall. On. And we got Scott and T-Bob down, too. Awesome. I'll do another one of these little fun videos soon, too. But until next time, it's Bill from AtTracker.com. And uh, try to keep yourself sane.